You got any fleas or anything? Yes. <laughs> now, I don't know if the scent between a wolf man and a bull at the end of the couch is going to have some, like, you know, Mylon Perkins action going on here. Mm. Someone called Ed, Ed Lacquadera. I got some wild Maybe animals down there. they could share here. hair gel tips or something. Really? Yeah. I think yeah. so, yeah. Hey, that's it's my Uncle Frank. How are you? <laughs> well, that's Uncle Frank very, over there. Very Sicilian, you know? All right. <laughs> Penny Dreadful, what's going on there, Toot? Oh, well, you know, the usual curses, hexes, boiling up in my cauldron. Really? Uh, the uh, yeah. cauldron of madness? Yes, I should have listened to, to Cindy, though. I should watch her more often, because uh, I, I, my broom wasn't working today, and I had to witch hike. Uh, witch <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know what you, know what you need? You don't need a broom, you need a voom broom. Remember that thing on H.R. Pup and stuff? Oh, yeah, the voom broom, witchy poo. Witchy poo, oh, yeah. yeah. An old friend of mine, oh, yeah. Really? We go how's way she, back. How's she doing, witchy poo? She's doing pretty. <laughs> good you know she's hanging in there she's she's gotten into uh, into bingo lately. really oh yeah yeah she's uh, she's getting up there in age but uh, HR puff and stuff you can't do a little because you can't do enough. do enough that's true read into that huh yeah, that's great. Sid and Marty mm. Croft they're out of their minds mm. but let's getting back to shilling shockers yep. you're like everywhere toots you're everywhere Yes, yeah, spreading like a virulent plague across the New England countryside. Really? Yes. And as far west as California, eh? Yes, yes. Uh, for some reason, they wanted to, to air us out there, out in Berkeley, Berserkly. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. yes. Maybe they're doing too much H.R. Puffin stuff out yeah, in Berkeley. Yeah, that's why, yeah, no, yeah. So why don't you give us the four... Guru? How's it going there, buddy? <laughs> really? Really? Not, not bad, huh? <laughs> is he housebroken? No, oh, absolutely he's not. not. No, yeah, at the end of the kept, couch, yes, there's no, a litter box. But give us the full one on Shilling Shockers there, Penny. Well, uh, it's, a, it's a hosted horror movie show. We introduce uh, horror films of really, it's usually pretty bad ones, but really? a lot of good ones, too, like Black Sunday with Barbara Steele. And we do the bits in between. It's, uh, I don't know if you're familiar with Zachary or Elvira. I know that's Zachary sort of, really very Zachary. well. Yes, right. 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 <laughs> yeah, you too, too. Right? Yes, yeah, right. Good guy there, yes, yes. So we introduce the films and uh, do a sort of get into wacky hijinks in between. Mm -hmm. I don't know how it happens. It happens every time. And uh, it's it's sort of a fun show. Uh, 2007 you know. Rondo Award as favorite horror host on planet Earth. Now, let's hear That's it up for that. Thank you. That's What did he get for? A milk bone or something? Yeah, he, he, got, he got a milk bone for that. <laughs> really? So, yes, yeah, he, was, he definitely stuffed the ballot box. I mean, uh, no, no, he just encouraged <laughs> people to, to vote for, you know, that was, that, That's that was nice. That's fantastic. Now, that was fun. The truth or uh, rumor here, you invented candy corn? Uh, unfortunately, that is true. Hey, you know, I know our director Chris is smiling in the back there for Farley's candy corn. Oh, yeah, I did do that. That uh, some people have never forgiven me for that, but uh, but some people, you know. I want to talk about your neighbor there, yes. Doctor Von Bulow, huh? Yeah. He's a monster hunter. Now, aren't you worried he's going to flip out and think you're Sonny Von Bulow and inject you with something? <laughs> he's, you know, I, it's crossed my mind. He has tried that, but uh, luckily, uh, you I went down in the, the, the New Bedford area, isn't that where uh, Sonny Von Bulow was from? It was, I think so. I think so. It up in Newport, and then they were up in Newport, right? Really? Yeah, right. Well, he he tried that, but I turned him into a chinchilla. And, uh, oh, yeah? He, he we have been cleaning better. down here on Sundays at Chinchillas, but that's a different story for a different time. Now, the main reason you're here, now, down at the end of the couch is none other than the living legend, Colonel Bull Montana. Yeah, Guru, go down there. Take so a sniff. Give, give, give him a sniff. Oh. Hey, Colonel Bull. Now, Penny. Yes. Bull Montana has been having these strange, weird dreams regarding our first ever guest on the program. You may have heard of him, Mr. Pat Morita. Oh, yes, yes. I am quite familiar with Mr. Morita. Really? Yes, the karate oh. kid who, who sadly passed away Very in 2005. Yes. But for some reason, he's trying to communicate with through Colonel Bull Montana. And I got your number down here from Bittman. And Bittman said, if we, you know, if anybody can contact Pat Marina, it's none other than Penny Dreadful. Now, I understand that later on in the program, we're going to try to do a seance. Now, come on. Do you think these things actually work? The man, let the man rest in peace, You Penny. must trust my judgment, T.C., for I can and shall contact the great character actor, Pat Marina. Morita. Academy Award nominated Pat Absolutely. Morita. Absolutely. We can't forget that. And he's really good with the chopsticks, too. Did you see when he caught mm. that fly? I mean, that, that was unbelievable. I, I, I think that was a special effect. 
Really? I, I, I think that was industrial no. light magic. There was no way he could do that. If, now, you saw the footage when he was on a program. Do you really think he was in any shape to catch anything except the DUI? That, wait, <laughs> that's, well, that's his secret. That's his secret. Oh, really? Oh, yes. He's 100% yes. proof? Is yes. that what it is? Yes, exactly. Definitely. Now, um, have you contacted any other famous people on the other side? I mean, I don't I don't buy this at, at all, this, this saying I say. You know that guy John Edwards, that guy, you know, speaking to the dead? Yes. I mean, Bittman down there is a religious diehard fan of that program. I think you DVR hey. it every week. Who I are think... you trying to contact on the other side? Who owes you money? Listen, I I'm going to tell you this. This young lady here, not only can she contact the, de contact the dead, talk about reviving spirits. She, ra she uh, raised my career from the dead. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's a feat in its own exactly. right there. Exactly. Uh, how, like you're messing phoenix. with the wrong powers here, TC. Oh, I don't so, want to I'm tell right. you again. That's right. And you're going to be surprised. Leo, how's Guru down there treating you? You better be careful because my nine carries silver bullets. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. What have you got there? What is this? Oh, oh it's phallic. Oh, no. It's just a little, <laughs> little mad. Is that the colonel yeah. on your vacation? Is that. Oh, look at this. Is that like a three dimensional <laughs> postcard? Oh, no. Get it. Penny, hold that up to the camera and show them that. Look at that. Look that at looks that. exactly like the colonel oh, down uh, vacationing on Revere Beach, Wait. sucking down clams from Kelly's. Wow. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, oh, oh he, he Garou likes the clams from Kelly's. Mm -hmm. now, Son of a gun. <laughs> of all the movies that you reviewed, you have like eight trillion uh, episodes in your program, right? We, yeah, we're so close to that. Yeah, we're, get, we're getting there. Yeah. Have you ever seen, I know it's not a horror movie, but it's probably one of the worst movies of all time. Have you ever seen Hamburger, the motion picture? Hamburglar, the motion picture? No, not Hamburglar. Oh, that's scary, though. Rapple, 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 uh, no. Hamburger the motion picture. No, I haven't seen that one. No. Unbelievable. That's that's a that's a fascinating. Hamburger. I'll have to look that one up. Hamburger. What's your favorite show on TV now? You watch Charmed or something? No, I I missed that one. I haven't seen that one. Which which what what do we what do we watch lately? We watch the TC After Hours with TC Rosati. Of course. Of course. We gotta watch that. Uh, we watched Dog the uh, Bounty Hunter. Oh, you related yeah. to him? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got a couple warrants Sit. out on you, don't you, Guru? <laughs> <laughs> I, I wouldn't be surprised and shocked. So, yeah. Now, how did you guys hook up? You guys are married. Yes, we are. We, we met uh, hundreds of years ago. I was dead at the time. Really? And he brought me back from the dead. He found a ritual. Kind of like what you do with Bittman's career. Sort of Ooh. like that. Thank and you. And he brought me back, like like from, from the dead, with a, with a spell. And we fell in mad monster love. Really? We had a mad monster wedding. And and uh, Phyllis Diller even showed up. She, really? Oh, Phyllis yeah. Diller was there? Oh, yes. Did you time off from the home? Uh, she did. And you know, I did. I contacted her. You asked me who I've contacted from beyond, but uh, she's still alive. But, she just doesn't but know part it of her is, is, right. is in beyond, right? This is she's fantastic. Now, lady. are there any little pups running around at home? No, oh. not yet. Not, not yet. Not no, yet, huh? no, no, not yet. We're working on that. Really? But, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Here we go. Garou. Garou. Oh, dear. I'm embarrassed now. <laughs> Why are you, you know, embarrassed? Th yes. Honey, when I first tuned into the show, Chilling Shockers, yes. I thought it was called Thrilling Knockers. Mm. <laughs> See, I would tune into something like that. That's, that's true. And then, then I became they pay me more money. That's there you go. Oh, really? <laughs> no, 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 I'm kidding. That's the way to do it. <laughs> we are after <laughs> hours, by the way, Penny. It's after hours. That was a right. union joke. Mm. It's a union joke. Now, okay. Colonel, I'm... I'm, I'm I'm, I'm trying to think of a word here, perplexed about how Pat Marine is trying to communicate through you of all people. As you can see on the screen right now, the footage of when Pat Marine kind of blessed the colonel's gut when he was on the program many years ago. Wow. Now, what has he been saying to you in these dreams, Colonel, and why are you dreaming of Pat Marita all of a sudden? Well, TC, I miss, I miss the great uh, gentleman that was in the Karate Kid, and I miss... Arnold from Happenings. Okay, you know they're the same person, right? Yeah. Okay, I know, all right. So, I know. what is he saying to you in his dreams, Montana? Well, well, the late Pat Marita says, "Bull, you got to open up a restaurant." Bull, you got to open up a restaurant. So, you know, in your slumber, when you're not dreaming or fantasizing about Big Macs and whatnot, you're thinking about Pat Marita talking about you opening up a restaurant. That's now, right. does he have any like uh, advice on how you could open up this restaurant? I'm, this is this is amazing, ladies and gentlemen. Ripley's got nothing on this. Well, he's just trying to. He's just. Is it an Oriental restaurant? Or? Oh, oh, it's a pizza place. Oh, it's a pizza. Ah. So you're trying to tell me ah. Pat Marita wants you from beyond to open up a pizza place? That's right. Now you've heard the information of what Pat Marita is trying to get across to, through him to to us. Do you think? You think you could channel Mr. Marina? I mean, later on. I would be delighted to. I'd be. I would be my honor to to channel Pat Marita. Really? Yes. You know what? He could. He could wax on before he could wax no. off.